I'm Scott L. Miller, and this is the opening weekend for the new baseball stadium in Leon, Nicaragua. This weekend, I was very lucky to have tickets, thanks to Larry from the community, who made an effort to get tickets for me to the opening night at the new stadium. Now, this was a night to go out and enjoy a major cultural event here in Leon, Nicaragua, and so I didn't get a lot of film. It was not a filming trip per se, but I did take the camera and get a little bit of important memories from this really big day, because this is going to be something that lives on in Leon memory for a very long time. It is not every day that a community, especially here in Central America, gets an enormous brand new baseball stadium. And this is not just a big deal for a medium-sized city of 300,000 people like we are here, but this is the largest baseball stadium in Latin America. It is, as far as we know, the largest in the world south of the United States. So this is a really, really big deal for our community here. And we're going to show you and tell you about the event right after the bump. Opening weekend at the new baseball stadium here happened on Friday night, but it is a weekend long baseball series between the Nicaragua national team and the Venezuelan team from Caracas. This is a friendship game uh, and kind of an exhibition match, but a chance to open up the new stadium. Now we've been watching the stadium be built here in Leon for probably most of the time that I've lived here. This is a really major event from when we first lived here. The area by Unan was basically just a worthless empty property. There was nothing going on between Unan and uh, 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 Ruben Dario Park, which is a beautiful spot. There was this big empty space and putting in a really large baseball stadium there, considering how well uh, the Leon team has done traditionally is a really big deal. It, we are a major player. We're uh, along with the Gigantes of Rivas, the top national teams often playing in the international scene. So having a major baseball stadium here is a big deal uh, and important. We have really good turnouts for our baseball uh, events here, plus other things that will happen at the stadium. This is a major renovation project for the city and something that's going to be remembered for a very long time. Uh, it's uh, right at the entrance to the city as you come in from Managua, very, very visible. Like it's right on the main road on the main intersection entering the city. So anybody coming into Leon now, unless you're coming in from Chinandega to the north, which is a very small percentage of the people, uh, is going to be looking right at the stadium as you come in. It is beautiful and modern and looks like a baseball stadium you'd see anywhere in the world, anywhere in Europe or North America just being built. Of course, there, this would be a medium-sized stadium. Here, it is extremely large, uh, but it is a major component of our community. And for me to be able to go and be a part of that first day is actually really important to me. This is a uh, kind of passing of being a, a member not only of a Nicaraguan community, but also of uh, my local Leon community. This is um, a, a major change of, of what the city is like and um, just just really was uh, special for me to get to be a part of that, to really be there on opening night, see the opening pitch, watch the opening runs uh, and be a part of that that audience. So special thanks to Larry, who was kind enough to, to go out and find tickets for me. This is a sold out event. It was very hard to get tickets. Um, I know a lot of people who wanted to go and didn't manage to get any. Uh, so we were very thankful to get invited. We had been looking into it, but we had not managed to get tickets ourselves. Uh, so so this was um, a real treat for me to get to go. I've been looking forward to this for so long. And I've been a supporter of Leon Baseball. So it's not like this is my first time going to a baseball game. We were, uh, I've done a number of videos from the games in the past, uh, and we're looking forward to being able to make use of the new stadium. It really does look like it's going to be a lot of fun to get to use it. It's just much more comfortable and bright and inviting uh, than the old stadium. And honestly, for us, much easier to get to. The location is pretty handy uh, for a lot of us who live either on the west side or on the southeast side, such as uh, Alan and Anna, who live really close to the stadium. That whole region of Colonia Universidad and Cas uh, Casa Leon, anyone who lives in that sort of area has extremely easy access access uh, to the baseball stadium. It's roughly the same distance from downtown as the old stadium, but in a completely different direction. Uh, I'm not unsure what the old stadium is going to be used for, but I am sure they will find plenty of uses for it. It is still a pretty uh, large structure and in a, a pretty handy part of town.
So uh, this is, as I said, the, the Nicaragua-Venezuela game. Uh, we got there at a good time. We're able to park. Parking is pretty easy. There's a really big parking lot there. Um, and one of the things that we're excited about, there is like a store actually there. So the old stadium had nothing like this. It didn't have restaurants. It didn't have like complex catering. It didn't have a lot of the modern things you expect in stadiums uh, in other parts of the world. Uh, it was all just concessions out in the parking lot. You had to leave the stadium, go out, buy things, come back in, which was fine. It was a really small stadium. Stadium, um, and that's how a lot of things work in Nicaragua. But here we have a modern stadium that's really large. So inside the stadium, they have concessions, people walking around. We saw hot dogs like fully loaded. This is not like in the U.S. where you're paying a ton of money for a little tiny dog. These are giant hot dogs loaded with toppings uh, for reasonable prices. They had vigoron, which is a uh, pork inside of kind of a uh, uh, sauerkraut sort of like thing. I don't eat this. Uh, it's definitely not that, but it, that's kind of gives you a feel for what it's like. It's a lot of like cabbage salad packed around a pork interior. Uh, they were selling nachos with cheese. They were selling um, uh, popcorn. They had, they had a number of different things. A lot of them were meat. They definitely had fried chicken and, and French fries that they were coming around with. Like you could get full meals and they brought them to your seats. You could get beer, you could get soda, you could get seltzers. Uh, so it was a decent selection sitting in the seats that you didn't have to leave. But there's also, and there's a lot of spaces that are open. They haven't put in the businesses yet, but there are some restaurants that are actually on the main floor. There's a new store that, that sells, um, jerseys and caps and those different things from the national team, from the Leon team. Um, I think they were selling Venezuela as well. Well, it was all very nice. Uh, the, the stadium is beautiful. The seats were, were comfy. Uh, there's drink holders. None of that stuff was there before, right? The old stadium was nothing like that. As you would expect in the opening of a new stadium, before the game actually began, they had the uh, marching bands and the Higantonas and cheerleaders and all kinds of different uh, representations of the community coming out and putting on a show uh, for a bit while we were waiting for the game to start. That was cool to go see. Uh, there was a few speeches made. Some retired baseball players uh, came out. It was it was a nice time. I think they did a really good job with the opening. Uh, we we enjoyed that, and then the game was it was really good like the visibility was good the game was was fun to watch now we did no this is you know we're in october or we're, i'm sorry we're in late september we're coming into october this is the rainy season we have like basically continuous rain so the chances that we were going to have be at the game tonight and not have it raining on us while we were there very very low so that's that's just expected and we were we were in uh, row j which is well underneath uh the roof we saw some rain start and we could see people moving back from the front seats but where we were we were completely dry and the rows in front of us were dry so you have the majority of seats are okay but there are some that could be exposed to the elements so it's something to be aware of if you're looking to go during the rainy season uh but we made it through five innings before the rain really came so we got to see a bit of a game uh at the beginning we the very first two runs ever in the stadium were nicaragua against venezuela venezuela came back and was in the lead when we got rained out but uh it was really cool to be able to see nicaragua make those first runs it's a uh, uh, important moment for the community of course uh but we only made it to the fifth they covered up uh the, the you know quite a bit of rain was coming and so they covered up the baseball diamond it's brand new grass they really want to protect it they can't have it destroyed on the very first day so we covered it we gave it about half an hour and then they decided to call the game on account of rain and it did rain for the rest of the evening. So it was good that they called it. We would have been there insanely late as it was. It was about 11 o'clock by the time I finally got home. I had to take Larry back to his house. Traffic was a nightmare because it's the first time that they're letting people out of the stadium. So it was backed up way down in the direction of Managua. Like the whole part of the city was just completely in gridlock, partially because there is no alternative routes past the stadium. You have to go past the stadium to come in and out of the city. We don't have like multiple highways going out from down Downtown. So that's a bit of a problem. You can go north to Chinandega or south to Managua, but unless you're going to Chinandega, basically everybody has to go down past the stadium. And so even to get to, you know, certain parts of the city, mostly outlying parts, but there are a little bit of the city out there. So this is a major traffic potential nightmare uh, that they're going to want to get figured out for sure. But the stadium is only so big, it was able to let out. It probably was about an hour of really being a mess down there. And then uh, it, it let up pretty much. 
So it was just a really fun night. And this is a short video. But I just wanted to share some of the baseball game with you guys and what it looks like and, and what an exciting moment. I really hope that we can get in and get a tour sometime when there's not a game and we can walk around the stadium and get some really good shots during the day so you can see how beautiful it is. But we got big new digital signage all over the place. Like this is a really modern stadium. Uh, this is unlike anything we've seen uh, here in Nicaragua before. And this is really kind of, I think, the tip of the iceberg is we're seeing all kinds of stuff like this. Brand new parks, brand new stadiums, brand new hospitals. There's so much development going on in the country and stuff that's been in process for years. These are not sudden projects that just cropped up with no warning. These are things that have been in the works for a really long time, uh, which a lot of people seem to think that recent events in the last few months are the creation of all these ongoing projects that have been in the works for years that have often been in place for years. That makes no sense. These are long term signs of uh, financial stability and economic growth here in Nicaragua. And, you know, in the future, we know that there are things in motion already the new highway uh, on the coast, the new train line, the new airport. There's so much exciting stuff happening. And I know those things sound really boring when you come from a really large country and you see those things pretty regularly. But you have to remember, we're a country of only 7 million people. So a new stadium, a new hospital, that's like a single city getting all those new development items all at once. It's a lot. You never see that amount of development uh, going on in an area this small all at the same time. This is really exciting stuff, believe it or not, uh, and things that impact our community and uh, signal a really good, bright future uh, coming for everyone. So we're really happy about this new stadium. Looking forward to spending more time there. Thanks for letting me share it with you. If you'd like to help support the channel here, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. Information above. We also have membership now. Feel free to join up and uh, take a monthly support plan. That's really just to support us. There's no like super special thing in there. We're not trying to make it into anything more than it is. It's just an easy way uh, to support on an ongoing basis. And as always, if you take a moment to like, subscribe, and tell someone about the show, we'd really appreciate it. And I will see all of you tomorrow.